Yo, this is Marcus Blake speaking, and I'm here to tell you that procrastination isn't real, because you have nothing to procrastinate. Well, I mean, the main thing that people procrastinate is the pain in doing something they don't want to do. But that that, that, that pain, realistically, is only starting up the first 10 seconds of an activity. If it was for this YouTube channel, the real procrastination comes from recording the first 10 seconds of a video. Then after the after the initial factor, the initial shock factor, everything else is easy. When you're going to the gym and you procrastinate your workout, you know the most optimal time to work out is early in the morning, right after you get your hygiene straight and you get your meditation session over with. The most optimal time to work out is probably before breakfast, but then you delay until five or six p.m. But what are you delaying? The first thing you need to do is put your gym shoes on, get your bag, get on your way. When you're already in the gym, you might as well finish your workout. So there's no need for procrastination because the only thing that you were nervous about was getting in the car and getting on the way. After that, you might as well finish the workout because you're already there. You just have to, all the discipline you need is enough to get the first step over with. And if we're talking the gym, the first step is getting the clothes on, getting the bag, and getting on the way. Because after that, you scan the QR code, you get on the machine, you hit your first set. I mean, guys, you aren't procrastinating the whole workout. It takes a lot of willpower to get through an exercise if after every rep you want to quit. You will suffer either way. When you procrastinate and you skip the gym session today because it's already too late, you're going to suffer. You're going to feel like you just failed. I skipped the workout today. You will suffer the same way as you're going to suffer when you put the shoes on when you don't feel like it and you get on your fucking way when you don't feel like it. And you press record button when you don't feel like it to make a YouTube video. You're going to suffer either way. So which suffering will you endure? The better suffering is to just get it over with. When procrastinating, you're not operating on logic. You know the best decision is to just get the fucking work done. But you would rather operate on emotion and act as how you feel. And do only what you feel motivated to do. You're not acting on logic. You're acting on emotion. We need to suffer. You need to suffer. There is no success without pain. There is no money without suffering. You can't get a fit body and expect it to be painless. There are going to be times you don't feel like hitting that fucking workout at 8 p.m. on a Saturday. But then you go ahead and fucking do it. You can't. You can't rely on tomorrow. You can't push it off until later on in the day. You can't. Because it's going to be... There are going to be bigger shit that you have to deal with in the future. If you're anything like me, you will believe you're going to be successful and rich in 10, 12, 15 years. So you're going to be dealing with some heavier harder challenges because guys this is the pregame lobby this is the first stage of the whole tenure process of becoming the superior man you can't you can't rely on tomorrow you can't skip the gym sessions you can't procrastinate You're in competition against other men. And when they are sometimes in the same situation as you are in, everyone feels procrastination. The men you are in competition with also don't feel like putting in the fucking work. They also procrastinate. Beat them. Who is a man that can overcome their emotions? He is unstoppable. Everything in front of them gets destroyed because they are literally a robot. You already know the right decision. What should you be doing with your time 
when you're watching this video right now. The best, most optimal thing that you could be doing with your time is probably not watching this video. It's probably getting up and putting in the fucking work. Cleaning your room. Hitting the workout. Recording a video. There is always an initial shock factor. And the... The only thing you're procrastinating is the first 10 seconds. If we were to take a cold shower right now, the only thing that we would fear is probably the first 10, 30, 60 seconds of that cold shower. Then after the initial shock factor, it gets easier. So what were we procrastinating? We weren't procrastinating the whole three minutes. Only the initial 10 seconds. This was Marcus Blake. And if you liked this video on procrastination, then I definitely would recommend you watch another of my videos right here. Marcus Blake, I'll catch y'all later.